This is a Kawasaki ECU. I actually pulled this one out of Zombike, a ZX6R, because its fuel pump wouldn't work anymore. It turned out it was the ECU that had gone bad. One of the reasons these things go bad is that people put a, uh, aftermarket exhaust kits on them, and they don't have the same heat shielding on there when they take off the aftermarket. They take off the stock exhaust, put in the aftermarket, and the heat shielding's not there, and it burns it out. That's my take on it. This actually isn't a CX-6R. This is the 1400, but if this was in the ZX6R, it would sit right about here in the bike. In the 1400, it actually sits right here. But today, um, since I put a new one in the other bike and it's up and running, I thought I'd take this thing apart, see what it looks like inside. Alright, see this stuff? Right here, it is gooey like epoxy rubbery stuff that keeps it water, all the water out of the ECU also keeps the electronics safe. Unfortunately, well fortunately for construction, it's throughout the entire interior. So the only way to effectively get access to the electronics in this ECU is actually to get rid of that rubbery stuff, which would have to be a chemical means rather than mechanical. So cracking the perimeter isn't going to open it. Even when you get inside it, you get this goo throughout the entire thing. This is you is dead.